Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Can you get enough heat from the cold, cold Canadian ground to heat your home? Lee Bond says we can. He says there are more than 100,000 geothermal heating systems already installed across Canada. Today, we'll talk to Lee Bond from Threshold Energies about drawing heat out of the earth to heat our homes and businesses. Lee Bond designed and installed the geothermal heating system in this half-finished 2,700 square foot home in suburban Edmonton. The house itself was well insulated, so it should hit an Energuide 86 or higher in terms of uh, an Energuide rating, which means that it'll use a lot less energy than most homes that are built these days. So let's just go on downstairs and take a look here. So all those holes out in the ground, they, uh, they're all gathered together and with a manifold system. And this is where the manifold comes up out of the ground. Uh, so what we have is, is an insulated sleeve assembly that goes all the way out that way into the bore field. These pipes eventually will get connected to this heat pump. And as you can see, it looks a lot like a Ford furnace, but this house will have no natural gas in it at all. It, all the heat will come from, from this device right here. So how does it work? Uh, the way it works is we're, we're gathering the radiant energy of the sun. So 46% of the sun's radiant energy gets absorbed into the top 500 feet of the earth. And when we put the holes in the ground, basically we're we, we circulate water through all of that piping and that, that water comes into this unit at six degrees Celsius. Now most people say, well, how can I heat my house with six degrees Celsius? Well, they can't. What this device does, it works like a refrigerator. It strips three degrees Celsius off that temperature and compresses it, brings it up to 65 Celsius, not Fahrenheit, Celsius, which is very, very hot. And when that hot fluid is circulated through a big radiator thing right here, we just blow air across that and hot air comes out through the top and gets distributed through the ductwork in your house. Bond was also involved in another geothermal project called the Brentwood Apartments. It's a 29 unit net zero ready affordable housing complex. It sports a hybrid geothermal and solar thermal system as well as an impressive solar electric array. So we're here today on top of the Brentwood apartment building which is near Westmount Mall. Uh, behind me are the 20 solar hot water collectors. These collectors provide about 70% of the domestic hot water and any surplus heat that they produce gets pumped back into the ground loops for the geothermal system. The geothermal system provides all of the heating for this 29 unit apartment building. So back in here we have the uh, lines coming in from the geothermal system in the ground. So the water comes up from here, is taken into these two big heat pump units over here that extract the heat energy out of that flow of water then that 65 degree centigrade water goes over into these storage tanks. The storage tanks act as a, a buffer. The individual uh, radiators in each one of the suites draw their hot water out of these tanks. While it's great to gab about technology, these things usually come down to one thing, cost. So Lee, if I want to install a geothermal system in my home, uh, how much can I expect to spend? The easiest way to figure it out is to figure out how many cubic feet of space you're trying to heat. So take the cubic feet of your basement, the cubic feet of your main floor, second floor, and so on. So if you had a 2,000 square foot bungalow with a full basement, you'd have uh, 4,000 square feet, and let's say you had eight foot ceilings in both levels. So you'd end up with uh, 32,000 cubic feet times $1.81. So the overall price would be about $58,000 for everything. Now what you got to do though is remember that part of that is a, an offset against what you would have paid for say a $24,000 or $26,000 conventional system anyway. 
So the incremental cost is like $30,000. By getting rid of the gas line, you save thousands over the life of the geothermal system. Gas is cheap now, but prices change. Meanwhile, the heat in the ground is not going anywhere. Vaughn says operating costs for geothermal systems are about half that of conventional systems and that it takes between 14 and 22 years for geothermal to pay for itself. We've been speaking to Lee Bond of Threshold Energies about using geothermal energy to heat our homes and businesses. If you'd like more information about the series, visit our website at www.greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook or Twitter. I'm David Dodge.